Hi everyone, I'm Berti with BIM Lounge. In this video, I'll show you how to set up a Revit project. And in part one, I showed how to generate views based on scope boxes and dependent views. I'll put a link in the description. In part two, I'll show you how to create sheets and put those views on sheet. Let me show you. Now, before we start, I'd like to show you how my sheets are set up. Now, there's um, one sheet associated with each overall view. So we'll need to duplicate all these to create the quadrant sheets. And each one of these sheets has a legend. So when we duplicate all these sheets, all these uh, uh, legends are being duplicated as well. Okay, so now we're ready to duplicate our sheets. Now let's go ahead and head over to the DRoots tab and the sheet gen. And we get our current list of sheets. And now what you wanna do is uh, select them all and uh, select with the checkbox there and then we can go ahead and batch action and duplicate and we'll need three copies of each one and then we can go ahead and execute So now all we have to do is uh, rename all these sheets so that they match our naming convention. So let's head back to the DRoots sheet gen. And at this point, we can uh, either rename or renumber the sheets from here, or you can do it through Excel by exporting this schedule to Excel. I'm just gonna do it from here for simplicity. So all we need to do here is go ahead and um, add wherever it says two, the B, and wherever it says one, the A. All the other names are set up correctly. So now that we renumbered all the sheets, we can go ahead and um, do the same for the sheet names. And uh, all we need to do is, of course, wherever we find a, an A, go ahead and add maybe dash quadrant A. And then I will suggest you copy the word quadrant, for example, so that then you can easily add that probably including the dash and the spaces so that you can just type the letter at the end. So now we have all our sheets with the correct name and uh, all we have to do is uh, place all the views on the correct sheet. So now to place views on sheets, we have a few options. You can uh, either use, again, DRoots and uh, Sheet Gen and um, place views on the sheet using these tools, or you can, ha you can uh, use the method that I showed in the video that I'll put in the description and card, or um, there's a way to do it with Dynamo in just one click. Uh, now that takes up a little bit of setup. So what I'll go ahead and do and uh, show you how I do it with my method, which is essentially selecting the very last sheet and closing all the active views. So this is the only sheet that's active and then work all the way up, opening all the sheets and then you can tile the sheets like this. Of course, you can uh, break this uh, task in uh, two or three, just so this is not so overwhelming. But essentially, the whole concept is to have all the sheets in the correct order. So then you can head over to the view area and uh, be confident that, for example, level one, quadrant one or quadrant A can be placed like so in the correct order and then B. 
and so on. So now all you have to do is move the views to the right spot on each sheet. Now, it may be a bit manual, but there are ways to make this accurate and make sure that all the views are aligned in all the sheets. Now, you can do this uh, by using the grid in each view, or uh, you can um, use reference planes, and um, I'll uh, create a video about it, uh, link in the description. And um, of course, you could do this uh, manually if aligning the views is not a concern. Now there are many ways and tools to automate these tasks, but hopefully with um, simple plugins, you should be able to keep this process as uh, simple as it can be. Now, of course, uh, I have a Dynamo version of this and let me know if you'd like to see it and I'll share a video about it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.